What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I wanna talk about volume. This is one of the most important concepts in the entire dating game. Okay, without volume, you can't make the system work, you can't make results occur regularly, you can't even depend on any dates happening regularly. <laughs> So to give you a high level picture, okay, at the time that I hit a thousand lay count, a thousand different girls in December of 2018, I had around 10,000 contacts in my phone. Okay, most of those being random girls. So that's why I came up with the metric that the close rate is 10%. Now my lay count is 1,780 and I have over 20,500 phone numbers in the phone. So it's about eight and a half percent. Okay, so close rate dropped a little bit. The past couple of years, I only do dates straight to the house okay, to save time and screen for girls that are more down. And I've also run extra volume living in Sao Paulo, okay, where there's virtually unlimited volume. It's like 50% bigger than New York City. It's imperative because of the volume principle that you get at least 10 to 20 new phone numbers per week. If you're not getting at least 10 to 20 new phone numbers per week. Let's say you only get one or two numbers. If those girls don't respond, you're dead in the water. Okay. If they set up a date and then they flake, you're dead in the water. If you go on the date and you guys don't click or she doesn't want to hook up and, and things don't work out, you're dead in the water. Okay, so you have to be acquiring 10 to 20 new phone numbers per week. Now with most guys I work with, that's way out of their reality and they're not even getting anywhere close to that. Okay, ask yourself right now, for those of you that are watching, how many phone numbers are you getting on an average week? Okay, for a lot of people, it's zero. For some others, you might get one here or there, maybe not that great of a girl from Tinder or Bumble with your average looking profile. I mean, non-professionally optimized profile by a team of experts. And you just can't make things work without that volume principle. So you have to think of the dating game like a sales funnel. Okay, you have the three major sources. You have online game, which is composed of typically Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, and some other apps. You have nighttime game, which is bars and clubs. And you have daytime game, which is streets, malls, cafes, etc. Those are the three major sources. Okay, social circle game is just a fucking marketing gimmick. Okay, it's smoke and mirrors, nonsense. It's all a facade. It's a little trick people play on people in the industry to show a whole bunch of girls in pictures that they're not banging. Okay, let's hear what Todd V had to say about social circle game. Let's talk about the bullshit marketing myth that is social circle game. Bullshit marketing myth that is social circle game. Okay, so there you have it, right out of the mouth of Todd V. I thought that's worth a whole lot, but I rest my case. The point is, with those three sources, you have to be getting at least 10 new phone numbers a week. And the other big component besides volume is your skill level. And that determines how wide the funnel will stay as you go down through the process. So for instance, if you're very bad at getting phone numbers, okay, let's say you're too scared to go out and cold approach, you give into your approach anxiety, or you're just very lacking in, in skill in that department, so you don't really get any phone numbers there anyways, that's gonna be a bottleneck right at the top of the funnel, right? So you need to learn how to cold approach properly, which we teach on our live boot camps. You need to know how to optimize your online game profile properly, so you're getting a whole lot of leads there, a whole lot of new phone numbers and dates there. And and we teach that on my eight week mentorship course. Okay. And, and right now for a limited time, we have a combo deal where it combines the power of the eight week mentorship. Okay. Where we fix all aspects of your game across eight weeks, plus a live bootcamp experience. Okay. That comes at a big discount purchasing them together. And that live bootcamp will straighten out all your cold approach stuff. You can have bottlenecks at texting. Let's say you get some phone numbers and then you don't know what to text or you're texting the wrong stuff. You can have your funnel close up there or get a lot smaller. Okay. If you're running your dates poorly, the funnel can close up there. If you're messing things up, once you get the girl back to the house, the funnel can close there. And most people have compounding bottlenecks all the way down. Okay, so that's part of the problem is that their skill level is poor at multiple of the key levels where it needs to be dialed in. But the other big problem is just that they're simply not running enough volume. They're simply not talking to enough girls. And the direction that I give my clients for achieving that minimum amount of volume that's required is you should be going out at a minimum on Friday and Saturday nights okay? and you should be shooting for five to 20 phone numbers each of those nights. So Friday and Saturday are now reserved for going out and hitting up bars and clubs and you want to go to the biggest venues that have the most girls and that's going to be what they call target rich, okay? the most target rich, the most opportunities to talk to attractive strangers. Then. Number two, you want to use the online apps collectively about 30 minutes a day or even more if possible. Then with day games specifically, I don't encourage guys to go out and walk around for hours or to, you know, walk the streets roaming, looking for attractive girls for hours, formal day game sessions. Okay. But what I do encourage with day game is when you do see an attractive girl, when you're on about doing other stuff, when you're going out for lunch, when you're going to the gym, when you're at the dentist's office, when you're in the 
Uber, okay, and you have an attractive Uber driver, that you make a move every time that you're around an attractive stranger when you're out and about doing other stuff. So you combine all the phone numbers that you get from the night game, the day game, and the online game. And if you're not getting at least 10, then you have to add in additional cold approach sessions. Okay, the next best day after Friday and Saturday for night game is Thursday. The next best after that is Wednesday. You have to look around and see which venues are the go-to spot on those particular nights. Okay, and it's usually gonna be because of drink specials or because of ladies nights or something like that. Then you can also create additional online profiles. I teach my clients how to create additional Tinder accounts, additional Bumble accounts, additional Hinge accounts. So now it's like cloning yourself and you're pulling all those phone numbers from all the online leads you're pulling all the cold approach leads and your skill level in these areas is also going to dictate the return that comes back as well. Okay, you can go to a nightclub and have bad strategy and get, and get very little phone numbers. Conversely, if you have a very good strategy, it's easy to land between 10 to 20 new phone numbers in one night out. To recap, you have to be generating enough volume of girls in order to make the whole machine work. Okay, And, and that target number is at least 10 to 20 new phone numbers. That's how my clients are consistently closing one to two new girls per week. When you have the lead flow coming in, when you have regular amounts of new phone numbers coming in, then you just have to tighten up your conversion rate on dates, your conversion rate back at the house, and last but not least, your conversion rate for keeping the one or ones that you want. Okay, and the way that would look is you pick the best one to be your girlfriend, Okay, you could either be monogamous or in an open thing, or you could build up a rotation of regulars, which is just girls that you're regularly sleeping with where you don't have any official label. So to learn the optimal moves and what to do in every part of my system, okay, how to build your online profile, what messages to send on Tinder, how to do cold approach, what to text your numbers that you get each week, okay, in every possible situation, how do you get them out on dates, how do you run those dates, how do you close those dates, and how do you keep the girls you want. That's all the stuff that I teach on my industry-leading eight-week mentorship that's evidenced by over 1,200 50 testimonials on a page. Right now, we combine it with a live bootcamp experience where you're live in person with a coach and he can see your body language, your verbals, your tonality, and he can give you direct feedback during interactions and in between interactions. Okay, so go and apply. This deal is not going to be for many more days. Okay, we extended it a little bit because we had a lot of interest. It is for a limited time. Okay, and then prices are going back to what they were before. So all you have to do is apply with the link in the description. At the end of the application process, it'll ask you to book a call with someone on my team. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments okay regarding the whole volume part of this game and it's just like sales okay without a good pipeline of leads for sales it's hard to close out prospects and close deals you are going to run into a whole bunch of people both in the sales world and in the dating game that just are not interested Okay, you're gonna run into a bunch of people that don't like you for whatever reason, and that's just part of the game. So when you walk up to a girl and she's already taken, has a boyfriend or husband and she tells you to go away, that's part of the game. When you walk up to a girl that's in a bad mood or she's having a rough time in her life with her you know, life responsibilities and problems or with work, maybe she just doesn't wanna to talk to anybody that night or maybe you're not her type, that's fine. This happens in the dating game, this happens in the sales world and you overcome that by running more volume, okay? And this also helps directly, the last point I'll, I'll tie into is it ties into your mindset. So you'll have an abundance mentality because you're speaking to so many girls at the same time. If you're only speaking to one or two, all your focus is going to be on those one or two and it's going to be a really big deal to you and you're really going to want it to work out, which is going to cause you to maybe smother the girl and become needy in some ways. And you're just coming from a place of desperation sometimes in those cases. Okay, that's called scarcity. It's this feeling and they can pick up on it that, oh, I hope it works out with her because if it doesn't, I'm fucked and I'm going to be jerking off. Instead, when you're talking to a whole bunch of girls and you have girls in rotation, it paradoxically helps things work out a lot better because it doesn't matter to you if it works out with any girl in particular because you have all these other girls. Right? And especially when you have girls on rotation, you quite literally have a roster of girls that are willing to sleep with you. And so anything else is just gravy on top, which makes you not give a shit as much if it works out with girl X, Y, or Z. And then paradoxically, that makes it work even better because they can feel that you don't really actually need them in a desperate or needy sense. Apply with the link in the description before that deal is over. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like the video to support the algorithm. I'm trying to drop a lot of value bombs on you guys lately. Let me know in the comments what other topics you'd like me to cover in the game and I will take those into consideration and make sure you subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you guys and I'll see you in a video soon and watch that video on the end screen which goes over the five major bottlenecks in the game and how to solve them. Okay, thank you guys. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. To the
fixture, I'm a factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.